Good day to you viewers, the Colonel speaking to you live from, well, outside at the Prize Entry, not quite the stable yard, for British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting. And here's the Squire. What's he doing, viewers? Doing what I do best, going through records. <laughs> this is something we do quite frequently, viewers, especially on sunny days. The Squire comes over, looks through the massive heaps of records that I have stuck here, and uh, picks a few out. Perhaps you care to tell us what your criteria is or criteria, yes, criteria, in the plural, well, for really rejecting or accepting records. Yeah, I suppose, really, it's um, somewhat variable and very undefined, because it's mm. a job to, job to know exactly, it's very... It, I try and get things, if I can, that I, I, I'm going to use. Yes. So I always start looking for things that I'm going to find interesting. Not necessarily rare. No. I mean, a lot of they won't be in that lot, lot I've been through. Well, no, a lot of rare stuff will go on, will go on people's shelves and will be never be used. Mm. And the, I like to want to try and get things that I'm actually going to, to play. So, yes. Don't worry, viewers, it's not the Luftwaffe overhead. We're on a flight path here in North Oxford. Uh, where is that airport? It's not Kidlington, is it? It's, right, it's uh, Norton. It's not Bryce Norton, is it? It's br well, Bryce is over the Norton. other side of Whitney. A little airport in North Oxford. <laughs> oh, that private one. Where the post office, you know, the, the parcel force depot is, up that way. Oh, I can't, I can't remember. Oh, oh well. Uh, yes, so this is what we do, because people ask me quite often. I often see 78s, they say. Which I thought, hmm, so do I. And they often then go on to say, what can I buy for you? You know, what are you looking for? Now that is not a helpful question. I think that's an impossible one to answer. It is. You just, look, just, just keep looking until you see something that uh, jumps out at you. Really. Yes, because you what have you picked out here? A very nice Edison Bell winner of uh, Victoria und Herr Hussar selection. Now that may not be for everyone. Well, there's not a lot, not a lot wrong with that one. That's yeah. usually quite, usually quite. Well, it's inoffensive, if nothing else. Well, he's right. Record of Irish country, Irish dances. Right. Well, that might be a bit different. So Are you, you going see, to be doing a bit of jigging tonight, Nigel? Well, I should very much doubt it. <laughs> but it just shows you the variable stuff in these lots. Oh, There's right, all sorts done. of labels, all sorts of... Oh, golly, yes. ...genres, all sorts of... Uh, it's also rubbish as well. Have you found the Ungarische Potpourri Volksweisen? And see, I made in Austria. That's an Austrian his master's voice. See, I don't know that label, but it's too late to be of interest to me. But there you go. You see, you've found unusual things as people can. I'm th tempted to, you know, I must have how many records behind you? Three, four hundred thousand that uh, are ready to be sorted through. Well, You're not going to do them all today, I hasten to. <laughs> No, I don't no. think so. I think that's a fairly low estimate, to be quite honest. Do you? How many do you think are there? Goodness only knows. Well, I had that lot from the old but very full barn, and there was a heck of a lot of records there, and I had a heck of a lot, alre a lot already. Well, that's oh pretty dear, oh dear, viewers. <laughs> well, let's put it this way. Let's, let's say it's the best part of a tidy few. <laughs> that's a very good way of putting it. It'd be ideal if I had a boat and needed some ballast, I suppose. Titanic or something. But you're doing well. You're finding a few of interest. Well, this is the point, really. One never knows what one's going to find. Well, they are very mixed records. I have been through them, there's no doubt about that. But I do not keep everything by any stretch of the imagination. And, and bearing in mind that in the old but very full barn, I left behind... I would think at least two-thirds of the records, and you went through the, what you could out of oh, that lot. yes, absolutely. And a couple of um, society members went through it all as well. Well, through most of them, but they were a bit of a, you know, they, they, they were even pickier than I and you were. But they, they found well, a few, they yeah. found a few. Those, no, that's right. You know, and they didn't moan, they brought their own biscuits, which was quite handy. Dear old, uh, right, I'll better not mention the... Uh, the two cha dear chaps who came up. No names, they might no packs. <laughs> Very good point. You found an early record there. What have you found there? Favorite record. I wonder how that got in there. Yes. 
Oh, what is it? Ah. Mary of Ideal Cornet Solo by Celian Cotown. Well, there you go. Killarney, celebrated Irish song by Cornet. A four in one record. It's amazing watching that lot. But accumulating records is something I've done for rather too long, and uh, that's why the squire comes over to have a bit of a ramble through uh, Tunelandia, as it oh, were. Absolutely, yes, indeed. Yeah, we'll call it that, Tunelandia, out here. It's a bit brisk and uh, a bit uh, breezy, but uh, at least the sun's on us at the moment. You're getting through that stack rather worryingly. I may have to go and find another stack. Find me a lot of four in one records there. I thought I'd got a set somewhere. What sort of things are there? I haven't looked at these for years. Martha, Les Allen, Les Salon String Orchestra and Pagan Moon, Mantovani. Oh, that's number two. That's number six, so uh, some sort of order. But you're not someone who would have a complete set of records just for having a complete set of records, well, are no, you? Well, no, not really. No. Not a lot of no, point in no, that. Not really, no. Well, you tend to get a lot of stuff you just never use if you do that. Mm. I'm going to have to exert myself and pull you out another stack, as it were, in a moment. I once had a complete set of uh, four-in-one records. Mm. I can't mm. quite remember the devil they came from now. It's really strange. These things are quite important when they happen. Oh, Guardsman records, a few of those there. I'll have to sort out all the acoustic records in these stacks and uh, put them aside for Rob, I think. Right, right, right. The ones you don't want, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. What's that HMV? Was that anything exciting? That looks acoustic. A Lover in Damascus, Band of His Majesty's Coldstream Guards, B226. You didn't want that one, Nigel? No. Oh. No. Oh, well. Shall we sneak it in his pile, viewers? No, perhaps not. <laughs> he might spot And four Indian love lyrics. Peter Dawson. Is that not you? I think I've got, I think I've got one, maybe two sets ah, of it. Ah, yes. Or I don't think... Some, they're not uncommon. No, they're not. That's right. No, I think I've got one. I think I've probably got an acoustic and an electric recording. Perhaps people can see my bike in the background there. I cycled up to... Up to north. Oh dear. Duplicate even with one in there. Oh, good night, Vienna. What a nuisance. Um, yes, I nipped up to the uh, up to North Oxford on my bike. I get us a pint of milk from a cup of tea and some biscuits. We've got some biscuits. They're not handy. People ask us ask me questions about biscuits. I'm not quite sure why. Maybe they're being humorous. Well, what's that? Peter Duck Boots. Classic record. That one. Muff. Yes, moving up and down again. There's no discharge in the war. No, it's, I mean, it's a lot of good, a lot of good, a lot of good things here. It's just things. Glad like you think that. And don't forget, viewers, if you uh, message me, you can all come and see these hundreds of thousands of spare records at some point after the squire has looked through them. Luckily, I'm a bit more organised these days, and when he's looked through them, they get into, put into stacks. So we know which ones he's looked through. <laughs> and it's very strange. I, I, I wouldn't describe myself as a memory man, but I know when I've been through a stack of records. I know, and I know which order they're in. It's very peculiar. Mainly because a lot of the charity shops that have record 78s in round here don't bless it change them. Funny part is, within two records you find a duplicate. That's no, really Mount weird Peter that. Dawson again, yes, there we go. Yeah. Mount, they look identical condition. They are actually, yeah, I'll have that one. That'd be fine. Mm. Mountains of Morn. The Mountains of Morn swept one. down to the sea. And my um, grandfather had that one. Right. <coughs> I travel the road. Ah. Now there's an interesting story with this one. Well, I'm glad to get this because this is the one that's more popularly known. I've got another another recording of this right. under the same matrix number and same record number. Right. But it's a different version. It's got a smaller label, yeah, hasn't yeah, it? Longer, so it's yeah. That one's got, I think it's a verse, a chorus, 
and the second verse and probably a chorus. The other one, I think, is a verse and a chorus, and there's an, an orchestral interlude. How very interesting. So it's very different. It is indeed. Well, thank you, viewers. Hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> Goodbye.